class. How are you today? I'm fine too. My name is Mr. Sita Adolfo Romain Joseph. Be attentive. We are going to see an English lesson. And the level retained is the fourth form of junior secondary school. I mean troisième. So today we are going to study direct and indirect speech. Direct and indirect speeches. Okay. At the end of our session, you want to be able to put direct speech sentences into indirect speech one. So, in the first term, two, ten two tenses have been seen. The present simple, which changes into past tense, and the past tense or preterite, which becomes the past perfect tense. So, today, we are going to deal with the present simple and modal in the first term. Two tenses were studied, namely the simple present, which changes into simple past, and the simple past, or preterite, which becomes the past perfect in the indirect style. In the following, we'll be concerned with the present perfect and model in the reported style. We'll also see a few expressions of time that change in the reported speech. Let's observe the following sentences. Let's observe the following sentences. Sentence one. Let's. Sentence one. Inverted commas. I have conquered the Mayombe Forest. Tombe said tombe proudly. I have conquered the Mayom forest. I have conquered the Mayom forest, said Tombe proudly. Second sentence. Inverted commas. We will live now. Lomba repeated. Okay, we have two sentences on the board. The first, I have conquered the Mayan forest, said Tombe proudly. Second sentence, 
We will live now. Lomba repeated. Activity one. Tense identification. Tense identification. What tenses? Question. What? Tenses are sentences one and two. What tenses are sentences one and two? Write your answer here. Write your answer. Here. Okay, we have sentence number one and sentence number two. What do we say about sentence number one? Sentence. One is the present perfect. Sentence one is the present perfect. Why? We have a subject plus as plus pp. So, subject plus of dash as plus past participle. Okay. Now, what about sentence number two? What about sentence number two? In a Sentence two will introduce the, the future. Okay. In sentence number two, will introduces the future. Will is also a model. It is also a model. Like a can. Sentence two. We have will. Will introduces the future. So, will is a model. As can. Now, activity, I'm going to rewrite all this in this part to get more space. Direct and indirect speech. Speeches. Let's observe the following
sentences. I have conquered the Mayamba forest said Tombe proudly second sentence inverted commas we will live soon we will live now excuse me now Lomba repeated. Okay. We all first start with the first activity. It was about tenses identification, and we said this. The first sentence is into past perfect. Subject plus as or of plus pp. And the second sentence, we have we. We deal with the first activity about tense identification. We said this. The first sentence is into Present perfect. We have subject plus of or as plus pp. So the second sentence we have will. So will introduces the future. Will is also a model. Verb like can. So let's deal with activity two. Okay, in this activity, we are going to listing over model verbs. Listing over model verbs. So we have, let's write this. Lists the over model verbs you know. We have said this that will is a model. Can you give me? An example of a model verb you know? Yes. Shall. What else? We have shall. What else? Would. Okay. Yes. Could. Yes. We have also must and may and so on. Okay. So, shall, would, could. Must and may are also 
modal verbs. Now let's move on to activity number three. So activity number three will deal with sentences transformation into indirect style. Activity three. Let's write it here. Sentences. Transformation. Into indirect style. Okay. Now let's ask a question. Dealing with sentence number, the first sentence. Let's ask a question. What did Tombe say proudly? This is a question. What did Tombe say? Proudly. Question mark. What did Tombe said proudly? Now, let's answer to this question. Yes, you can try. What did Tombe say proudly? Okay. Tombe said proudly that he Conquered the Mayom forest. Good. Tombe said proudly Let's write it here. Tombe said Proudly, that he conquered the capital letter, my own. The Mayomba Forest. What did Tombe say proudly? Tombe said proudly that he conquered the Mayom Forest. Forest. Okay. Second question. What should be our second question? Let's have a look on the board. What did Lomba say? Let's write the question. What did Tombe say proudly? What did Tombe say proudly? Now let's give an answer. Tombe said proudly that he, let's add, add, what did Tombe say proudly? What did Tombe say proudly? The answer is, Tombe said proudly that he, let's add, add, conquered, the Mayom Forest. Good. What about sentence number two? Let's ask also a question. What did Lomba say? 
What did Lomba say? Okay. What did Lomba, let's correct, repeat? Question mark. Lomba repeated that. They would leave then. They would leave then. Activity four. Changes. What are the changes? What are the changes? Let's have a look. What are the changes? One. The present Perfect. Changes into the past, the present. Perfect. We have the structure, subject. Plus have plus PP changes. Into past perfect. Have subject plus add plus PP. This is our first changes. Second, let's observe this sentence. Lomba repeated that uh, they would live there. The simple future. Subject plus will plus live becomes the conditional subject plus add plus pp. The present perfect changes. Now let's give some explanation. I have conquered the Mayom forest, said Tome proudly. The sentence is in a direct speech. So, in, two, in direct speech, we notice some changes. First, I Changes into he, as you can see. Second, have. Changes into add. It's the same. But the verb does not change. It's the same. Now, let's. Look at sentence number two. We will live now. Lomba repeated. We, as you can see, a personal pronoun becomes they. 
will as a modal verb becomes would. But there is no chance talking about the verb live. So let's come back to activity number four, changes. So what are the changes? The present perfect. Excuse me. Subject plus half plus pp changes into the past perfect. The half subject plus add plus pp. The second sentence. Will in direct speech. This sentence is in the simple future. The simple future, we have subject plus will plus verb becomes the conditional subject plus, excuse me, would. The simple future subject plus will plus live become the conditional we have subject excuse me plus would plus live we have all those changes activity we are dealing with activity four I, which is a personal pronoun, a personal pronoun becomes he. It's the same as we, personal pronoun. becomes they. Now is an adverb. Now. Adverb of time. Becomes then. or changes into then. Now, let's continue our lesson. Let's say that The rat change only when the introductive verb is in the past. So, as you can see, adverbs of manner, personal, personal pronouns also change. Here are some Adverbs some adverbs and models adverbs and move and models that change into Indirect style 
Okay, now let's start by direct speech indirect speech indirect speech we have adverbs let's talk about adverbs Yes, you can give an example of uh, an adverb. Today, okay. What else? Yesterday, thank you. Yesterday, okay. I have also a go. Yes, another example. Tomorrow. And the last, yes, here. We have some adverbs like today, yesterday, ago, tomorrow, and here. Now, what do we say in to indirect speech? Let's talk about tomorrow. Yes, that day. Thank you. That day. Okay. What else? Yesterday. What do we say? Yes, the day before. Okay. What about ago? Before. Thank you. Tomorrow, into indirect speech. What do we say? The next day. Okay, the next day. What about here, there? Okay, this is only a sample of adverbs that change into indirect speech. Now, let's move on to models. Some models. Let's We have models. Okay. Direct speech. Indirect speech. We talk about models. Yes, we have. Can you give me a model? Any model you know in English? Any model? Yes, can. We have can. What else? Can. Yes? Shall. Yes? We have also may. I have also may. Yes? We have will. Let's end by 
must what do we say can in indirect speech yes changes in a could shall in a should may yes in might will as you have seen it here in wood and the last model must in to add to okay now let's see our applied exercise applied exercise let's start here Applied exercise. Applied exercise. Okay. What is the instruction? Put the sentences into indirect style. Good. Put. the sentences into indirect style. The first sentence. Sentence one. Let's write the sentence. He said, and that he commands, my teacher of English, my teacher of English has remained. Kind. This is the first sentence. Second sentence. Yes. Lord. Said. Inverted commas. The thieves have broken the window. The thieves have broken the window. Sentence number three. I shall go. I shall go if I can. I shall go if I can. Say it clear. And the last sentence is. I cannot do it now. I cannot do it now. I cannot do it now. Comma. But I will do it. I will do it tomorrow.
said the comforter Okay, we have retained four sentences. The first is put the sentences into indirect style. One, he said, my teacher of English has remained kind. Number two, Lord said, the thieves have broken the window. Sentence number three, I shall go if I can, said Claire. And the last sentence, I cannot do it now, but I will do it tomorrow, said the computer. Now, let's correct our exercise. Let's write correction. Try to think about. Try to think about the first sentence. Correction. Okay, first sentence. Yes, he said that, yes, his teacher had remained kind. Okay. He said that his teacher had remained kind. Second sentence. Laura said that the thieves, yes, let's think about sentence number one. What should we say into indirect speech? The sentence is, he said, my teacher of English has remained kind. Yes, one, he said, That his teacher of English had remained kind. Okay, good. Sentence number two. Lord said, inverted commas, the thieves have, have broken the window. Yes, what should we say into indirect style? Good. Sentence two. Lord said that. The thieves had broken the window. Thank you. Sentence number three. I shall go if I can, said Claire. Let's put the sentence into indirect style. Yes? What do we say? Sentence three. Claire said that the she She should go if 
și cudă. Ok, clar se zată, he should go if she could. The last sentence. I cannot do it now, but I will do it tomorrow, said the computer. Yes, four. The computer... said that he could not he could not do it then but He would do it the next day. Okay. Here are, this is the correction of our sentences. Now, as a normal work. As a norm work, do this at all. Homework. Put the sentences into indirect style. First sentence. Bartha explained, I have got many friends. Second sentence. I must remind you of this fact replied replied there is something let's rewrite it replied okay the teacher sentence number three I have not come here today to criticize ladies and gentlemen, said Mr. Okana. I have not come here today to criticize ladies and gentlemen, said Mr. Okana. Sentence number four. My uncle died last week, he said. My uncle died last week, he said. Sentence number five. I cannot swim, he pretended. I cannot swim, he pretended. And the last sentence, I will travel to Nkai, they declared. I will travel to Nkai, they declared. I will travel to Nkai, they declared. Once more, thank you for your attention and see you next time.